Uh, a short note on agricultural reforms. We are forty five percent of the population still somehow directly or indirectly working in agriculture. Right. At this point, how do you see the waivers? Because the Modi government in 2014, they mm. promised that they will do away with such a policy. But again, the political economy, mm. the political intricacies are such that they cannot do away with the waivers. So do you see waivers as the future of agricultural reforms? No? Yes? Tushar, I'll tell you, uh, I think uh, uh, Mr. Modi and his team, people trust this team, right? Fundamentally, given the mandate that they have come back with. Yes. And after 370, after the kind of policies that they have shown the metal to bring about, agriculture reform is nothing. Saying that, look, people are intelligent, by the way, and, and, and they do, I mean, the strong leaders do take people along when they make tough decisions. And I think people will still support. It's like the demonetization decision. Despite the pains, people went along because fundamentally they believe the intent. And that's very important. So agriculture waivers, say, you know, getting rid of those waivers, of course, we have to bring the discipline back into the uh, credit markets. Today, when people take loans, at least in the agriculture sector, the expectation is that it will be waived off. Yes. In fact, the only person who looks really silly is the farmer who has worked hard and repaid the loans. Because clearly, every state has shown that you can galvanize the population in agriculture and demand waivers and political class has been quite willing to give those waivers. But eventually, it's not free. There is no free lunch. Somebody is paying for it, which means the government, the banks. And public sector banks paying for it means the government, which means people are paying for it. Now, how much of it can you afford? Right? One is just the monetary cost. But what about the discipline? Credit discipline takes generations to bring about. Right? Credit is not a freebie. So the minute you give a loan, the expectation is that you work hard and you repay the loan. So the future contract that you're writing between two parties that credit discipline comes about over generations of such transactions. So I think this political interference in the credit markets, I think, uh, must be minimized. And, right. and when there is necessity, and there is necessity because we are reliant on monsoons, we do have large scale aggregate shocks, hmm. right? And in those situations, I think it is justified. And the government has the means to. But it should not become an electoral uh, uh, policy. policy, yes. Right.